Billy Joe Armstrong is an American singer, songwriter, musician, and guitarist. His interest in music developed from a very young age. His father was a jazz musician and bought him his first guitar and thus his tryst with music began. When he was five-year-old, he recorded his first song, Look for Love. He learned to play the guitar from George Cole for almost ten years. He also learned to play the drums, piano, harmonica and mandolin. He formed a band called Sweet Children along with childhood friend Mike Durnt. Two years later, they formed the band Green Day along with other friends. Green Day's most famous hit is the rock opera American Idiot, which fetched them many awards and was also made into a Broadway musical in which Armstrong himself acted. Green Day's other albums include Kerplunk and Dookie. He has penned the lyrics for a number of songs for singers like Penelope Houston and bands like Rancid as well as The Go-Go's. He is the co-owner of the recording company, Adeline Records. Billy Joe Armstrong was born on February 17, 1972, in Oakland, California, to Andrew Armstrong and Ollie Jackson. His father was a jazz musician and also worked as a truck driver. His mother worked at a restaurant. He grew up in Rodeo, California. He was the youngest of six siblings. His siblings were David, Alan, Marcy, Holly, and Anna. His interest in music began after his brothers introduced him to punk music. He attended Hillcrest Elementary School in Rodeo. At the age of five, his teacher encouraged him to record a song titled, Look for Love. When he was ten, he met Mike Durnt in the school. They became close friends owing to their love of music. He was highly influenced by the bands The Replacements and Husker Du. His father died of esophageal cancer in 1982. The song Wake Me Up When September Ends is dedicated to his father. After his father's death, his mother married again. His first guitar was a cherry red Honer acoustic, which his father bought for him. His mother bought him his first electric guitar from George Cole when he was 11. He named it Blue. He attended Carquinez Middle School and John Sweat High School in Crockett and later Pinole Valley High School. He dropped out of school on his 18th birthday to pursue his musical career. In 1987, he along with his childhood friend Mike Durnt formed a band, Sweet Children. They played the guitar while John Kiffmeyer played the drums and Sean Hughes was on bass. After Hughes left the band, Durnt started playing the bass. In April 1989 they renamed their band as Green Day owing to their addiction to marijuana. In 1989, they released their debut EP 1000 Hours. Their debut studio album, 39 Slash Smooth, and the extended play, Slap Eve was recorded the next year. The compilation 1039 slash smoothed out slappy hours included both albums. Trey Cool replaced Sobrante as Green Day's drummer and made his debut with their second album, Kerplunk. The band broke into mainstream with their next album, Dookie, in 1994, selling over 60 million records worldwide. Armstrong co-wrote songs with various artists. Some of them being Unforgiven for the all-female American rock band The Go-Go's, The Angel and The Jerk and New Day for Penelope Houston and Radio with the American punk rock band Rancid. Apart from producing album for The Riverdales, he has also been associated with the project, the network responsible for the release of the album Money Money 2020 on Adeline Records which is co-owned by him. In 2010, he became a part of the American Idiot for one week and played the role of St. Jimmy. The same year the band which his son was associated with released an album with Adeline Records and Armstrong's musical production. In 2013, he worked with the group Lonely Island for their song, I Run New York of the Whack Album. He is now busy shooting for Frank Whaley's movie Like Sunday, Like Rain, alongside Leighton Meester. In 2014, he wrote songs for These Paper Bullets, an adaptation of the Shakespeare's comedic play Much Ado About Nothing, with rock and roll music. Green Day has won five Grammy Awards, won four Best Rock Album for American Idiot and 21st Century Breakdown, Record of the Year for Boulevard of Broken Dreams, 
Best Alternative Music Album, Fort Dookie, and Best Musical Show Album, Fourth American Idiot, the original Broadway cast recording. For American Idiot, the band was awarded American Music Awards for Favorite Pop Slash Rock Album in 2005. Kerrang! magazine included Armstrong in their 2008 list of 50 Sexiest People in Rock. In 2011, he was named the Best Punk Rock Singer by IMDb.